you're looking at buying a wakeboard. Now this can be very confusing. We have hundreds of options that you can choose from. So picking the right one for you can be very difficult. Now let me run you through some of the premises for things you should be looking at when you're buying a board. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know exactly the board for you. So we'll start at beginner boards. So beginner boards are for someone that's never been up on a wakeboard or in their very early stages. Now what you want this board to do is support you through the whole learning process and make learning as easy as possible. So some of the features you'll notice on a beginner board is a big center fin. So a big center fin gives you lots of direction. The board will go exactly where you point it and will have very little sideways movements. Now another feature that a lot of the board brands are doing is an asymmetrical shape. So what this means is you have a shorter one side and a longer the other side. Now with wakeboarding, it is very hard to go onto your toes because you're facing away from the boat and having to pull against it. Going on your heels should be very natural for most people because you can lean back and pull on the handle. So the whole point of this shape is to make sure that the board can go on its toes as easy as possible and assist you with that first bit of learning. Sweet, so you've been wakeboarding for a little bit or you're gonna be wakeboarding a lot. If you're pretty comfortable on any other type of board, skateboard, surfboard, or pretty balanced, you might wanna miss the beginner stage and go straight to something intermediate. Now what you'd prefer an intermediate board is two outside side fins that are pretty deep, so you still have that grip that you need, but it's not as grippy as a big center fin. You want something, some channels through the middle. What this means is that when the board's on its angle, on its side, you are getting a little bit of grip. Now, some boards you'll notice have a big clean bottom. This is to help transition, but it can be quite hard for intermediate people to get onto their edge and cut a nice into the wake. So we prefer something with a nice channel, which will give you all that grip to get into it. All right, once you pass that intermediate stage or more comfortable in that intermediate stage, you're gonna want a board that's gonna give you more performance. Now by this stage, hopefully you know what sort of feeling you like on top of the water. Because when you get into the intermediates and to advance, you get to choose whether you want your board to be nice and slippery like this. So this board has no grip through the center, no channels, little of fins, which means it breaks away nice and easy, very fast on top of the water with very little drag. So someone that likes this board will like an easier ride, it's much easier to build speed, but it is a little harder to hold your edge, so you wanna be pretty comfortable getting that edge held in, because otherwise coming into the weight can get a little wobbly. Now the opposite to that is something with a lot of grip. So this has big deep channels, so you have a lot of grip through the water. You can pull on the handle nice and hard. This is perfect for someone who likes to cut all the way through the wake into their tricks, and it will give you much more pop. Now when you get into these intermediate boards, you also can get aero cores or light cores or blackout technology. They all have a different name, but technically what you're getting is a stiffer board that's lighter. The lighter the board is, the easier it is to throw around, but when you're doing your flips and 360s, you want as little resistance in the air as possible. Now, hopefully this has all made sense to you. If you still need help, feel free to reach out. We can talk to you about your wakeboarding and make sure that you get the best board for your ride.